you know me, Caesar Bakes, and uh, this is my Viotech GN32C monitor. And as you can see, I'm not using a stand on this thing right here. I actually have it mounted to a wall mount, and uh, well, I'm going to show you all how I did this real quick. Now, I currently have this mounted to a Sunny Deal. It's a dual arm articulating mount. This is really designed for a uh, pretty much like a larger TV, like a 32 to around like a 55 inch TV set. This particular mount right here, it was about like 38 bucks I got it off eBay. And it's one of the ones that's got the dual arms and it's got the large plate right here that's supposed to have a big bracket that mounts to it or you can use the VESA pattern on the back right here. Now, if you'll take a look, I didn't actually use the VESA holes or anything like that. And I'm sure some of you are probably going to say that this is unsecure, this, that, and the third, all this other stuff. But I can pretty much guarantee you it is quite secure, just being mounted with these two bolts back here. So let's go over to the mount real quick, and maybe I can explain a few things. Now what I ended up doing was I used an 1164th drill bit and that is the closest to this size right here that I could find because when you drill this thing out you don't want to use a drill bit that's the diameter of the actual bolt or the screw. You want to use it that's the same size as this hole because you do want to have a little bit of play let's say you want to have a little bit of wiggle room for expansion things like that. And I just took a caliper and I just went from the direct center of each of these two holes right here and I just measured the distance between each of them, put it on the mount, made sure everything was squared up on the back, marked it off, drilled my two holes and I was done. Now obviously I removed the plate from the mount before I did that, but that's all you really have to do to mount one of these things. It's just a matter of drilling two holes and I mean, hey, let's face it, if you're putting up a wall mount, especially a heavy-duty wall mount like that, chances are you probably have a drill bit lying around and just take your time, go slow with it, make sure everything's lined up properly, and you're pretty much good to go. For me, that was, um, it was almost a breaking point in getting that monitor, was that it didn't have a VESA mount on it. But I looked at the stand and I had originally figured that I could chop this stand right here and remove the shrouding, take like two pieces of angle iron, something like that, and pretty much make up a bracket that would mount it to an actual wall mount. And when I took a look at it, that's when I had noticed that in here, pretty much this right here and this right here, these two notches, and this piece right here, they only really act as guide pins to hold it in place when you're tightening up the screws on the back of it. And all the weight of the monitor pretty much rests on those two screws. So it got me thinking, well, you know what? If I got a wall mount that's got a fairly heavy piece of plate on it, why am I gonna chop this thing and then drill through here, have to thread it and all that other stuff when I could very simply just drill two holes into the thick plate of the wall mount and mount the monitor right to that because obviously that's strong enough it's not going to cause any issues with it so that's what I ended up doing and again I I'd have to say that you want to really get a wall mount that is like a dual arm, like a dual arm articulating like what I've got it on. You really don't want to have a single swing arm or anything like that. You want to make sure that it's got a fairly thick plate. You don't want to have a thin plate for it. Now, I already had a few of these other wall mounts in other areas of the house. I got one of them upstairs that's holding up a really old Dell Ultra Sharp that weighs about like probably 30 pounds. So I knew it would be strong enough, and I knew it had a nice, real thick plate on it. So that's why I decided to go with that particular mount. And I made up a bracket for it to mount it on the back of the desk, just welded up a couple pieces of steel, and 
ran a couple extra bolts through them for integrity because my welds look like total garbage, which you know, is nothing new for me. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I really had to do to get this thing mounted up. And as you can see, it's sitting there and it's working fine. And unfortunately, you know, I just didn't have a choice. So that's what I ended up doing. Yeah. Still don't know how to end a video. <laughs>